Hey there, you're watching VTV Channel 6. Rodeo fans during 2009 rumbled into Western Park and other areas in Vernal for action of the 2009 Dinosaur Roundup Rodeo. Let's take a look back at highlights of the week. You can't imagine the wide variety of reasons people attend rodeo. Okay, well, maybe you can. But anyway, we tried to capture some of them. Take a look. Since I was five years old, I've just been roping, and I just love doing it. I'm here to get drunk. Beer. It's like the best thing that ever happened to Vernal. Because queens get to wear beautiful dresses. There's not any one particular thing I like any better than the other. I love it all. Just good time to have my own. It's something that everybody can do. Well, I, that's tough to say because if I didn't love the whole sport, then I, I don't think I'd be in as involved with it as I am. Because of it's fun, exciting, it's dangerous, it's an adrenaline rush. Uh, you know, I, just, uh, I think it's fun, something good to do on a summer night. The people I meet. Um, to socialize. I just love the bucking. There's a lot of like horses and stuff. Uh, socialize, have a good time. Because it's fast. Because it's fun and there's a lot of stuff to do and I like to watch the rodeo and there's some hot cowboys out there. <laughs> I like just having fun. Cowboys. I love the rodeo because people get hurt and I like that. But seriously, what happens when someone really does get hurt? The Justin Sports Medicine team steps in, including some locals. Uh, you know, rodeo is a dangerous sport, and you certainly uh, certainly see some injuries. Most of these guys are pretty tough, and, and most of them are just bumped and bruised and, and move on to the next rodeo and keep going. Uh, but every once in a while, somebody gets hurt pretty bad, and then we have to deal with it. With the high level of risk of serious injury, or worse, what exactly motivates these guys to literally hang on for dear life over and over and over again? God, you know, this is this is my ministry and this is what he's called me to do. So I do it for his glory and his honor. He's given me the passion and desire to do it. So I'm going to do it to the best of my ability and be the best I can be. Uh, it's a mental game. Uh, you just got to want it and go out there and get it. You know, uh, can't let the getting hurt or what's going to happen, you know, get to you. You just got to think positive and, and let it happen. And that's all, that's all you need, really. When it's rodeo time in Vernal, cooperation is key from the committee, city and county officials, local businesses, and volunteers. This collaboration has to happen well before the first gate swings open, or the event simply won't happen. And Rodeo Week features many different activities, like guessing the weight of a bull at Wendy's. So whether jotting down a number for the side of beef or riding it, Rodeo brings the community together in a unique way. Because it's the community that puts this together. It means that they're proud of what they have here and we have something that is is something huge. I mean, you know, you have one of the top rodeos in the nation and it's it you need to be proud of that. You need to know what goes into making that rodeo. This rodeo is awesome. Um, they've turned it into one of the biggest rodeos in the PRCA. Barrel racing, team roping, and bareback riding are popular events at rodeo. But what about wild cow milking, steer dressing, and a crazy horse race? Yeah, this year had those too. Stay tuned. <laughs>
Each year, young ladies vie for the title of Miss Dinosaur Roundup Rodeo. And what's your name? During the week, the royalty keeps up a packed schedule of public appearances. Well, today we actually went to the care center and we got to meet all the people who are there and they were just so nice and willing to meet us and they were so excited when we actually showed up and were in all our queen clothes and they were just so nice and so willing to talk to us. A big part of those appearances is the special rodeo held in the indoor arena. This event gives kids the chance to take part in the action before taking a seat outside. It means a lot to me because rodeo is a sport that anybody can enjoy at any level, whether you're one years old or, or 90 years old, or if you do have special needs, it's something that everybody can enjoy. So they can come out, get involved, twirl a rope, get a cowboy hat, and then get a, get a ticket in there and sit down and watch one of the greatest rodeos in the country right here in Vernal. It, it's terrific. Rodeo attracts fans of all ages and dozens of young cowgirls and buckaroos held on for dear life during each night's mutton busting event. Hang on for the ride yourself and you'll hear a reaction from some of the winners. Are you excited, buddy? Rock on! Rock on! Holding on to his fur really hard. Uh, the fall, I didn't want to lose, so I just wanted to hang on. I didn't really like it. I've done this like for one year. They're clapping their hands, they're stomping their feet, buddy. We need an 87 bull ride. Whether supporting a favorite cowboy, watching a primetime ride, or simply taking in the excitement, Dinosaur Roundup Rodeo fans consistently find something to cheer about. That's a wrap for the 2009 Dinosaur Roundup Rodeo. Hang on for next summer as this rodeo turns 60 years old. Thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll leave you with some more clips of this year's action.